there might come a time where your student search results do not produce the student user's account that you were hoping it would. For example, when I search for a user, Charlie Brown, in the system using the prefix QCSD, QCSD C Brown does not exist. At this point, it will become necessary for me to create a new student account for Charlie. Once this account is created, it will be added to the student index and therefore be searchable by all the other teachers in the district as well. So, to create a new account, simply go up to New and drag down to Student. In the first name field, I'm going to type Charlie's name as it appears on his report card. And Brown. He's in my fifth grade class. And sure. There we go. I'll create a student login for him using the naming conventions that my other students are using. And I will give him a password as well. Charles' parents have expressed the desire to monitor Charles' progress while he works. So to do that, I'll create a parent login name for them. And by doing that, I'll just take Charles' username and I'll add the word coach to it. So QCSD, C Brown, followed by the word coach. And to make life easy, I can give his parents the same password for their parent account as Charles has. At this point, I can add additional demographic attributes to this student account. This will help with reporting later on when I might want to filter students by some of these attributes. Lots of times, if grants are being written for the use and implementation of this particular uh, system, these attributes and filtering by these certain attributes will become very handy for reporting systems later on in the process. But as you notice, they are not required. So in Charles' case here, and since I'm not writing a grant that would need reporting on any of these areas, I'll just skip this for now. And then subjects. You'll notice that because I registered this new student account as a fifth grader, some of the fields have been pre-populated for me. However, I don't want to give Charlie any brain buzzers. And I really don't need him to see any science curriculum or thematic projects. I just like him to have the fifth grade social studies content. There we go. When I assign this to Charles, he's going to receive the basal curriculum from Compass. In, in other words, the fifth grade social studies curriculum right out of the box that we paid for, not our customized curriculum, which we'll get to later on. So at this point, since I have to select at least one subject, I'm going to select one that I'm going to give to Charles right now. Again, just the basal curriculum, and then hit save. There. His account has been created, but you'll see that he's not in my math class, he's not in my science class, and he's not in my social studies class. So I'll go search for him. And there he is. Let me drop this guy right into my social studies class. And I'll click on the class to verify that he has been added. There we go. Charlie Brown is right there. And that is how you create a new student account and add that student account 
to your classes.